Welcome to Gistic Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add columns in Microsoft Word. Let's get into it. So I'm going to be showing you today how to create columns within text and also within a table. You're going to want to enable the ruler just to see where exactly on the page you are entering the columns in. Go to the view tab and under the show section, you want to show the ruler. So after that, we want to go to layouts and then click on columns. You want to click on the drop down and it's going to ask you whether you want one, two, three or left or right columns, or you can click on the more columns option and it's going to give you a uh, more customizable. So you can choose one of the presets. It's going to give you the example of how it looks in the bottom right here, or you can create the exact width and spacing that you want for the columns by adjusting it yourself here. And you can choose whether you want to apply it to the whole document or from this point forward, which means from the end of the text. So you can also choose whether you want a line between the two columns, like so. So I'm gonna add three. When you're done, click OK. And if the text doesn't fit within the columns, it's going to create a new page. I'm just gonna get rid of it. And there we go, we've created the columns within the text. It keeps the text together, it doesn't split the text down the middle. This is all written vertically left to right in each column, starting at the top of each column. And to get it back to its original state, we just want to go to more columns select one then press OK and that's going to reset it. So now I'm going to show you how to create columns on a table. Obviously you can create columns using the horizontal scale when inserting a table like so. So if I want more columns, I just simply go more to the right. Let's say I want five columns. I click on five by one and to add columns, you're going to want to hover over the line in the middle of the table and go up to the top and then you want to click the plus button and that's going to create an extra column. So that is it for this video. If it did help, please hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Also, let me know what other videos you want to see on this channel, and I'll be sure to make them in the future. That is it from me. Peace out.